Hi guys, so welcome back to Everyday Rico. We talk about mom life, money, and motivation. So if you are new here, welcome beautiful people. I talk about everything mom life, money, and motivation for your everyday life. So in today's video, we are going to talk about an acknowledgement certificate and when you need to use one and we're going to fill one out together. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. As a beginner notary, you have got a general notary work assignment and you get to the assignment and you realize this document does not have notarial wording on it. So in this case, it is okay. All you're going to do is either do an acknowledgement or a jury. But today we're talking about acknowledgements, even though you can't tell the client which one to use. We're going to use an acknowledgement today so when you get out there, you don't feel out of the loop and you will feel more comfortable because that's what I want you guys to feel more comfortable so you can take on more general notary work. So of course, I'm in Tennessee, so I have a Tennessee acknowledgement form already from the NNA, but you have to use your own state's wording, however that is. Definitely check with your state, your state's handbook, or NNA can guide you in that direction. All right, guys, so let's get started with our acknowledgement form. All right, guys, so an acknowledgement certificate is just simply saying that this person signed their signature. Now, they can sign it in front of you or before they get to you, but they're saying that they have signed their signature on their own free act of will and nobody pressured them to sign this document. All right, guys, you think you're ready? Now, let's do one together. All right, guys, so you have gotten the person's ID or passport or whatever the state that you are in allows. After that, you are going to record in your notary journal and get the person's signature. Then, here we go. This is where we do the acknowledging certificate. All right, so as you know, I am in the state of Tennessee. I am in Shelby County, so you are going to put county of whatever county that you are in. So I'm going to put Shelby. On this day, so today is the 20th of March, 2022, before me personally appeared Jane Doe, whoever the person is appearing for you or persons, to me known to be the person described in and who executed the forging instrument and acknowledge that he, she, they executed the same as his, her, their free act and deed. So they signed this document, their own free will. All right, so right here, signature of notary officer, which is you. So I'm going to put everyday Rika, but of course, you know, this is going to be your first and last name. However it is on your notary stamp, that is how you're going to sign. Title of notary officer. Of course, that is going to be notary public. Y'all forgive my handwriting. Okay. And your commission expiration date, of course, whenever your commission expires, we will say on this one that the person's um, commission, which would be mine, not the real commission date, there will be April the 25th, 2025. Okay. And the last thing, sorry, you guys. All right. The last thing that you are going to do is you are going to stamp, which is over here, is going to be your seal. So this is where you're going to stamp your document. And that is it, you guys. And then you are going to take this acknowledgement certificate and staple it to whatever the person is acknowledging that they have signed. Okay? All right. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful to all of my new notaries so you can get out there and do more general notary work and feel more comfortable. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. All right, guys, and don't forget to live your best life every day. Bye, guys. Bye.